from Leibniz monadology. The monad, which we shall discuss here, is nothing but a simple substance that enters into composites. Simple, that is, without parts. And there must be simple substances, since there are composites, for the composite is nothing more than a collection or aggregate of simples. But where there are no parts, neither extension nor shape nor divisibility is possible. These monads are the true atoms of nature, and in brief, the elements of things. So what did we learn here about monads? We learn that since there are things in the world that have parts, there must be things that do not have parts. The composite, or a thing made of parts, is by definition a collection of smaller things that are not made of parts. An aggregate is by definition a collection of simples. Or uh, these days we might use this terminology, something molecular is by definition something made of atoms. Now don't get distracted by um, the ideas of a molecule and an atom you might have from uh, your, your middle school science education. These are different <laughs> terms, particularly uh, atom. Atom, classically, means the smallest thing that is not divisible. A thing which is not made of parts. So what we call the atom now uh, in contemporary physics is something that was evidently a misnomer. An atom, classically conceived, is not something small but made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. An atom, in the classical sense of the term, is that which is not divisible and does not have parts at all. A single whole without parts. That's what an atom is. Leibniz says, since there are things made of parts, since there are composites, there must be um, smallest parts of which they are made, because that's what the definition of a composite substance is. So there must be a simple substance, an atomic substance. Now the monad is such a simple substance. In fact, it is the only simple substance. The world as we know it, a world that has composites, that has extension, shape, and divisibility. Such a world requires simple substances. These substances are the monads, and Leibniz is going to give a metaphysics of monads in this little text.